two, one. Hello in YouTube land. Armando here with another exciting review. As you can see, there's Natasha Romanoff, the Black Widow with the dark hair. I reviewed her yesterday. She's up on the channel. Today, I got something special for you guys. Look, I was at my local Kmart. Look, look at this. See the bag? Look at that. Kmart. Yes, Kmart still exists. I don't think they're going to exist very long. I think they're going to go the way of the Dodo Bird and the 8-track cassette tape. But this store still survives. Anyway, I was in there looking around. And look what I found. Yes. You remember this chick? She used to be made by Todd Toys. An interesting fact. Uh, this is the new Angela figure. Owned by Marvel now. Uh, when Todd McFarlane first started his company, he uh, he made an Angela figure. It was very nice. I found her at a comic book store. Uh, in fact, I can't show you an example of her because she's in the archive in the back room. But when I took her out of the package, her leg snapped off right here at the hip. So I was freaking out, so I took her back to the comic shop, and lo and behold, he did not have another one to sell me. So I shipped her to Todd Toys. At the time, it was called Todd Toys. And Mr. Todd McFarlane himself took it upon himself uh, to write me a letter, uh, and he told me that, no, they couldn't actually fix her, because I asked him if they could maybe just fix the leg for me, and I'd pay them. What he did was just keep the one that I sent back, he sent me a brand new one off the production line, mint in the package. And he sent me an awesome letter telling me how sorry it was that I got a defective figure that you couldn't rotate the, you know, the, the hip joint. She had like a V crotch. And uh, I saved the letter and I saved the figure. I never opened it. I was just like, wow, you know. And then he made like a, like a, I don't know, it was like maybe two feet tall. Maybe 16 inches, I don't remember. A big Angela, and then later on, uh, like a Tiffany figure, and uh, some other chicks. But Angela was always my favorite. But then I heard he had a little problem keeping Angela because he was co it was co-created by him and some other dude. I forgot his name. And there was like a big lawsuit, and they took Angela away from Mr. McFarlane, from Todd himself kind of sucks that he, he did a good job on her but now uh, I've seen her in the animated uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and she turns out to be I, I think Thor's sister now or something like that anyway it's still Angela and she looks awesome but this is the first time I've seen her in a Marvel Legends and I never buy Marvel Legends I stay away from them because they're very unaffordable they're just too expensive they shouldn't charge more than 10 bucks for these and yeah it's got articulation but so what we live in the future. And it has like a build a figure thing, you know. Look, you can distract the destroyer, Yondu, some dude. There's Nova. I don't know what these are. Oh, that's Star Lord right there. Anyway, the only one that interested me was Angela herself. See, can you see the website there? Yeah, see, Hasbro.com Marvel. Ah, look. Three sad onions. Why, oh, why onions are you sad? The mystery for shall remain a mystery. Shout out to Stuart Ashens across the pond. Hello, Stuart. Mr. Ashens. Go to his channel. A-S-H-E-N-S. -E Ashens. Type it on YouTube on the little magnifying glass and go to his channel. He gives the best reviews on action figures and stuff he finds at Poundland. And yes, he discovered the sad onion phenomenon. I'm just helping him spread the word across the lands, the many lands of Earth. Every toy should have that picture there. It's something about the onion board, maybe the onion guild. Something's up. They're sending us a message. The onions are going to revolt. That's why they're sad. They're going to get us in our sleep. Yes, folks, the onions are out to get us. That's why they're sad, see? Sad onions. All right. Anyway, shout out to Stuart Ashens. Uh, now, let's look at the artwork here. Look at this artwork. That's pretty awesome. Too bad it doesn't have, like, the artist credit, like, 
I can't think of his name that did Angela. That supposedly is the only person allowed to make an Angela figure. She reminds me so much of Red Sonia. And I did want to buy that uh, Red Sonia figure. It was like a like a I think it was like two hundred and fifty dollars. It's a twelve inch figure. Ridiculous price. I wanted to get it, but it's just too expensive. I just couldn't, you know, do that. So I didn't get it. Anyway, I got this one. Maybe they'll make a Red Sonia this size. So how do we open Marvel Legends? Um I don't know. It's been a while. We're gonna need a specialist equipment here. Uh, yes, folks, look, it's the box cutter of freedom with plenty of tetanus goodness. Okay, uh, there's saddle tape here, so I assume you slice that, and, um, saddle tape here, okay, and any saddle tape on the top? Well, maybe just the sides. All right. Let's see. Uh, uh, okay, how do we do that? I think we just stab it here like this. Okay, you open it up like that. And rotate the box this way. Pry it up. There you go. Don't just rip into it like you're Wolverine. Come on. We're civilized people here. Okay. Pull it. Pull it. Like a cereal box. Get in out your frosted flakes. And... Uh, okay. Hold on. Bear with me, folks. How do we open the top? Does the inside packaging slide out on some reason? This is a weird box. Okay, uh, we're losing the camera. Oh no! Dollar General Greenland uh, Greenbrier International Tripod. Ashens, you have Poundland. We have Dollar Tree Greenbrier International. All right, you just pull this out, I guess. All right, no insert, nothing. Okay. She's inside suspended animation here. Okay, there's the inner blister. Guardians of the Galaxy box. And uh, no apparent sign of anything. Look, she's got a scabbard. No security size of any kind. Okay. This is a Hasbro product. Very nice. Now, I would buy figures like this because they're cool. I haven't seen anything that caught my eye recently, and this one did. I mean, the last. Marvel Legends I got was uh, Thor. Big Thor. Okay. Uh, articulation. Plenty of articulation. She's got uh, the sort... The, well, let me see. An armored arm. Lots of articulation. She's wearing like a choker. I don't know how this goes to the back. And this goes to the front like that. I think that's how it goes. All right, let's pick up the camera a little bit. Okay, like this, look. See the choker? Not sure, I don't follow the comics. I don't know what she's been up to. Her hair's not very red. I, I prefer the red hair. Just They made her like a ginger color. I wanted the red Sonia hair color. Okay, anyway, she's still awesome. Very nice. Look, she can do the splits. She can sit down. Look. All you pervs want to see that, right? Look. Perverted collectors. Gynecological point of view. Well, if you want to know, look, it's got the, the ball joint there on the inside. And, I mean, it's pretty cool. Look, she can kick forward. See? The thigh. Well, let me see. Double jointed knees that I can twist. See? Right there. They should have put that joint here where the the legging is right here. It would have hit it perfectly. Bad 
bad mistake. But it's okay. You can't really tell. And if they're going to do it here, they could have moved that up to hide it better. So, yeah, they're not perfect, but still pretty cool. I don't know how this goes. Uh, just like that. Yeah, to hide the joint. Well, she's got a leg of some dude. Some weird little axe things and a sword. Let's just use the sword. Okay. Swords out. Weird little axe things. We'll leave them there. The McFarlane version did not have all this crap. But it did have a cool sword. Look at this sword. See the sword? Uh, Hasbro, what are you doing? Why, why are you using this flimsy soft plastic? Lenard's using actually tougher like ABS plastic. This is like a, like a dog chew toy. You know, kids are going to be buying this. They don't got any money. And if they do, they're going to go buy like a new cell phone. You know, collectors buy these figures so make the weapons a little bit sturdier. It's okay. 3D printer, here we come. We're going to just copy it and uh, who knows? We'll make it out of tougher plastic. I'm sure there's something available. Alright. Well, let me see. She could do this kind of pose like this. or um, Can she bend the wrist? I'm not sure. I think she could just turn the wrist. Let me take my glasses off. Can't see up close with my uh, glasses on. I have to take them off. Alright, she does have the articulation where it goes up and down on the wrist, like a sniper. You see that? How she can hold it like that? So, hold on. You pull the sword out, put it partially in there. Like that, okay. And put her hand on her hip. I'm not sure about this choker thing. It's kind of strange. I don't know how that goes. Isn't that weird? Doesn't it just really hang right? I'll put it towards the back. Okay, now. Been a while. The last, uh, no, you know what? I, I bought a Star Wars Black series. It was uh, Han Solo and it was uh, Princess Leia. And I did have a Boba Fett up. So I guess I could consider those Marvel Legends, but I mean, they're really not. I did see these at my new Toys R Us that they opened up at the outlet store, but they're gone. They flew off the shelf. Wow, this is a nice figure. Okay, now that's a good pose like that. Let me see this go up. No, that's what's stopping her from moving. Okay, that's fine. All right, well, the skirt's attached to the white belt. She's got great abs. Look at the stomach. Very fit. Uh, I don't know what her size is in real life. I mean, she was a real-life girl. Six feet tall, maybe? 5'10"? Something like that, maybe? I don't know. All right, let's see. She stand on her own. Pretty much. All right, so you can do that pose with the with the sword. Push down on that. And she can lean against Thor a little bit. There you go. All right. Well, that's the new Angela for two thousand and seventeen.
me see. Uh, right about there. How's that? All right, we're in 15 minutes. Wow. Thumbnail? Let's get closer. Closer. All right, if you see this figure, grab it because it's going to fly off the shelves. If you had one and you put it back, well, it sucks for you. You should have kept it. Fidel Martinez in Odom, Texas. Shout out to Fidel. You should have kept it. I told you to buy it. No, you wanted Kylo Ren. I said Kylo Ren will be there. Get Angela. Oh, well. At least I got one. <laughs> All right. Folks, if you like videos like this, hit subscribe. Leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, tell me off. I welcome all comments, positive or negative. And I'll get back to you. I want everyone to have a beautiful day, evening, night, afternoon, whatever you're doing. You know, if you're murdering somebody, hey, do, do it right. Don't let them suffer. And get away with it. Hide the evidence. Use, uh, what do they use? Uh, lime? <laughs> a bag of lime. <laughs> and a shovel. Anyway, I hope y'all have a great whatever you're doing. This is Armando signing off. See you on the next video.